Hello everyone, Flying Dutchie here, welcome back to the Ottomans in EU4 Domination, patch 1.35.1. .35 there has been a hotfix, a lot of bugs are, have been uh, resolved, and I'm actually wondering if the state maintenance is solved in this patch. I think they did not do this yet. Uh, let's see after one month what will happen. It has been a couple of days I've recorded this uh, series, so I need to check what we were doing. And I remembered we are going to try to feed... Uh, Croatia and uh, Transylvania and uh, Moldavia all their lands back. They are our Aeolids. We are at war with Aragon because we Aeoletted uh, Naples. We made them our subject and they were at war with uh, Aragon. Not sure what I'm going to pick from Aragon in this war. Could release some nations. Uh, the same with Florence, by the way. I think they are... Yeah, we should get a small truce with Florence and uh, make them an Aeolet uh, after the truce is over, I think. Um, we are also at war with uh, Hiss and Kafia because we uh, we were able to attack them. We had a core there and no one was helping them. Am I sending some troops over there already? No, I think I was sending these troops over when they were done. And you guys... I'm not sure what these troops were going to do anymore. Oh yeah, and also Mushasha is in a war uh, with Biapas. And I think we were going to make Biapas into a subject as well. Just a normal vessel, I think. Oh, we could give this to Georgia. Uh, Georgia had some claims, apparently. You could just feed everything to Georgia and just be done with it. Um, we also wanted to try to get the Great Horde because then we can... Wait, did you just lose... No, there we go. They have a lot of cores on, uh, on Muscovy. And apparently I can vassalize them again. Last time I was not able to vassalize them. But I think we're just gonna go and marry them and try to vassalize them. Before Muscovy is gonna take them down. I think that's a good idea. And what about you? You are my vassal. Okay, so... And I think we want to keep some vassals. Normal vassals because of the uh, estate uh, thing. We want to keep Crimea and Circassia as normal vassals. So we can keep the... Uh, what is it called again? Strong duchies, I think. Liberty Desire minus 10. So, yeah. Let's uh, go and focus over here. Um, let's proclaim the guarantee. And apparently we can now uh, finally uh, vassalize them. Diplo-wise. Let's not pause the video. Let's see what happens. People are going to leave some coalitions. That's very nice. We are not going to marry our ALS because that is a waste of a relation slot, in my opinion. Unless they are very, uh, yeah, very um, unhappy, then we could maybe marry them. Okay. Look what's going to happen here. We need to wait for France. I remember now that France is going to peace out Hungary because we want these provinces. We can only do this when France is going to peace out. But they still have a ticking war score. It's gonna take a bit of uh, time, I think. And let's also spread this out so that we have at least some troops at the provinces that I want to conquer. It's a bit risky because there are still uh, enemies running around. We need to watch out over there. Uh, you guys are going towards Aragon itself. And we just need to piece out some things. At some point. I want to feed this land to Croatia. And what is this? We can get innovativeness. Oh! We are six years ahead of time already. So there is no need for us to uh, take this right now. We would get a lot of innovativeness. We are still waiting for an institution of colonialism. I could just do a couple of military clicks and finish my uh, Constantinople mission. How much institution gain do we get with one click? Can I see that so over here? No. Okay. I think I'm just going to put uh, the military clicks in Constantinople. Uh, we have prosperity over here. We will put the edict on. Do we have the merchants happy? Yes, but they do not have enough influence. Really? That sucks. Yeah, we are going to build a, um, a marketplace. Let's wait for that one so they get a bit more loyalty. I don't think that matters how much loyalty they have. 
Let's go on the boat here and... You know what? Let's land on the uh, Florence army. I think we can peace out Florence now. Who are your allies? Aragon. We don't care about Bologna. Maybe we should just maybe uh, cancel his alliance with Aragon. And that's it. Then we have a truce for six years and we will make uh, Florence into an Aelet. I think that is what I'm gonna do. Okay, come back. We just need to peace out Aragon. Siege of Astara is over. Nice. Then we can go to Hisenkafia. That also means that the Biapas is completely occupied. Just need to take Mushasha down. Okay, good. Uh, did we not kill the army? No, but we are going to kill the uh, Aragon army here. How strong are we? Why do we have a plus? Terrain. Oh yeah, we have the terrain bonus. That's a stack vibe, I think. Oh. Yes. There we go. Very nice. No one can stop us anymore. Well, they can if they put a huge coalition together. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do with Aragon? So, Naples lost the course in the war, which was super annoying. What I can do is just take it anyway and get a huge amount of aggressive expansion. That's possible. What I also can do is just release nations. I can release Sicily. And go after them. You know, take them ourselves. And I can release Sardinia. And I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. Or I'm just going to get land over here. In Aragon. So France is still our ally. They are still very trust trustworthy. Let's uh, uh, give them all the trust actually. Uh, Favors trust. There we go. We have 100 trust with France. Maybe we should not attack France at this point. <laughs> Because if we are allied with France, they cannot go and join a coalition against us. And that I, th I think is a really good idea. Because they are super strong. Um, maybe we should ally more people around us so that they can't join a uh, coalition. That would be really interesting. Maybe Brandenburg. They are very weak, apparently. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that. If I take land here, they're going to do something for me. It just gives a border and... I mean, at some point we want to take down France, but... I think I'm just going to stay with the releasing of these two and then go after them. And yeah, we are still waiting for... France to peace out. Uh, what is this? The merchants gain loyalty and we lose government for our probably. I'm not going to lose stability, we are at plus 3. That would be a waste. In my opinion. I still want to take uh, Rome. You're only allied with Milan, which is small and silly. Which is pretty silly. So I think we are going to get... Uh, Rome into an ALET because it sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yep. We are going to take Rome. <laughs> uh, you can come back now. I think I kept it because I wanted to integrate, but I actually changed my mind. I think you don't want to integrate your core ALETs, and why is that? I think a core ALED just gives all the stuff that you normally would get when you own it as well. I think we get all the manpower that we would get as well. When we have this annex. And the force limits as well. But there is no reason for us to, to annex a core ALED. Because we are going to get all the manpower from Tunis anyway. We get 7148 manpower from Tunis. 10,000 from Egypt. We do need, need to make them a core ALED, otherwise we don't get it. It also counts for the uh, force limit, I think. Can I see it over here? Yeah, look at this. Tunis is giving us 7 more force limit. And naval force limit. 
But we don't want to do that. We want, just want to make them core Aelids. Then we get all the bonuses. And we are trying to get Georgia and Naples to become a core Aelid as well. It's the only ones that are left. Okay, let's go here. Please, France, peace out. They just want Sundgau in this war. I'm going towards this army, by the way. I have to stack wipe them. That's a stack wipe. No? Wow. Well, that is a stack wipe. Boom. Done. Okay, let's go to his and Kafia over here. You're still not done with Mushasha. What is this? We can convert provinces. Uh, no. Thank you. That's the military stuff. I wish we could get more merchant guild influence. How do I get more? Because we need more we need more trade income really. But we have 33 of our 165. Am I raising bar taxes? Okay. If I turn this off, I think we're gonna get more money from trade. And that would make the burgers more influential, and then I can upgrade Constantinople with them, all the bonuses. Let's have a look if that is true in the next uh, next month. Now this is just done over here, really. Everything is done. I think I'm just gonna piece out and take and free up these two uh, islands and take them myself later on. I could take your money, but why? You have no allies anymore, do you? Yes, yeah, Siena. Um, how much development is this country? If they are below 150, we can make an Aragonese Aelet. Uh, let's see, country. Development. We have 255. 25. 43. 53. 64. 79, 88, 96, I don't know if this one, 104, 124, 135, 145, it's just too much this whole region. Uh, I can't make them into an, into an Aelet, um, no, it's not possible in one war. Unless I re release Catalonia. But then we still have the same thing. I think the war score is based on the development, right? So let's just uh, release uh, Sardinia and uh, Sicily. And conquer them later. And I guess we just take a big peace deal here. We could pillage. Oh, no, we can't. We don't gain anything because my capital is too big. We're just going to do this with uh, Aragon. There we go. Oh, we have an extra boat. Oh yeah, you're going... Uh, let's put these on the boats here. Now we have a truce until... Yeah, for 15 years. And then we can take Sicily. Which I absolutely will do. So it's just still waiting for France really to peace uh, out. Advisor time. We want level 3 advisors. We have a level 3 that is cheaper I think over here. So let's pick that one. Bit of dipper reputation. We have 16 admin points. Do we still want to focus on admin? I think we want to start focusing on um, Diplo because the next idea group will be influential. To lose the liberty desire of all my subjects. Yeah, I think we need to start focusing on a Diplo here. Why am I losing points? We have too many leaders. Really? We have so many good leaders, guys. Look at this. Uh, you are not good. Let's uh, fire you. No. I'm going to send these troops to uh, take care of some uh, 
troops running around over here. The Great Horde declared war on Bia Pass. That is annoying. Then we have to fully annex Bia Pass. Otherwise we will be going to war with the Great Horde. Which is actually not bad. Because we could vassalize you in that war as well. Need to change this to... Uh, oh, I can't do this. Shit. Can I ask Georgia to... Yes, I can. Okay, Georgia is now in the war. Then we can feed this to Georgia. And then I can give all of that to Georgia. Why can I core these ones, but not these ones? Why can I core these two and not these and not these two? Because it's sea? This is an inland sea uh, game. That is weird. That is pretty weird. I think this army was going over here, but I'm not sure. Okay, the boats are full already. Oh, I think I already had an army on the boat. Oops. It's going to take some time. Yeah, we took a little bit too much, I think. I think we want 28. So this army will go somewhere else. Uh, you guys try to chase that army down. And my fleet over here is going to take these troops away. So the problem is with my Aelid in Egypt. If I want to take all of this... I need to border it. So I guess we're just gonna go for conquest and feed everything to Egypt. I think that is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna make a huge Egypt uh, ALET. I think that's the only thing we can really do. I mean, they are getting some liberty to decide, but we will go influence, so. Yeah, that's gonna be the next one. But I want to be at peace first for a bit. To click uh, the estate thing. And then we will go on a war spree again. And we want to take the papal state in that next war spree. I think we are going to go hopefully get the great horde. Um, we can still go after, after Poland, Lithuania. And we want to take of course more land into Persia. I think that is the main priority here. Going towards India. We have a lot of money. Grain provinces are for um, Saltius household, so I'm not going to build anything there. Any fish? Yeah, let's build the impressment offices on the fish. If you have a little bit more sailors. We don't really need it, but I just like to min-max that way. Fish is a sailor, grain is a Saltius household, and the other one to get a normal uh, manufactory. That is how I play. Come on, France. Why are you not peacing out? Oh, we can still siege down Berg. Berg is over here, right? Can I go there? I can. Well, then I will put you guys over there. In Julich. Improving with Fez, yeah. Improving with Georgia. Can I make you a core Aelid? Yes, so... Let's have a look if this is actually true. Uh, we now have 201,000. And is Georgia in this list? I think they were already. No, they are not. Now we have 204,000. I think we got 5,000... Um, 5,000 manpower from Georgia. And we should get force limit now. Well, maybe a little bit. I don't know. So to rain in that one. We completed the estate agenda. We still need to do for some of our missions. Uh, no, the burgers are not getting more influence. Because we still have low trade income. Can I do something about it? I still only have two merchants. Uh, there is a way to get more. By a school. 
We need 150 relations with Egypt. And then we can do it. So let's go for it. I might have to get a, a marriage with Egypt because they will become a super big ALET. But let's see. If that is done, then we can really... It's occupied by the Great Horde. The Great Horde is being annoying, guys. It's so fucking annoying. How did the Great Horde get this? Because now I can't take it, and now I can also not go to war with the... With the Great... Oh, this is so, so, so annoying. I have to vassalize this country now. I have no other option. And then we will go to war with... I think we are going to war with uh, the Great Horde then. Which is fine, actually. Uh, Mushasha, what can we do with you? Can I give this to... Uh, Egypt? I can't call them in, so no I can't. But can I take this myself? Oh, that is such a big problem. That is a really big problem. I can vassalize them. Yeah. Then we have to vassalize them. They don't accept at the moment, but uh, that's what we are going to do, because otherwise we can't take it. The Beto Sufi practices. Which way do I go? I want to go to legalism. Because then I can click the button to lose some uh, corruption. But before we do that, we will get 600 money. Then we'll reduce it again. There we go. Okay, we have enough relations now. Can I get my merchants? I'm gonna put that over here. They are the only three going into Constantinople, yes. And now we're gonna make more trade money. And then I hope that the trade money is, will be enough to make my burgers more influential. And then I will develop Constantinople with three clicks. Let's see if that's going to happen. Oh, France pieced out, yes! I missed it completely. That's some really good timing. Uh, the boats, I completely missed the boat. Let's go over there. Okay, let's see next month if my bur if my burgers are now. I mean, I am making 36 in trade. It's still not a lot. And what are my boats doing? They are in Constantinople. Let's send them somewhere else. Let's send them into... Well, Aleppo, we already own all the trade power. Um, let's split this in half. Half of you go to Crimea, and the other one goes to uh, Alexandria. Let's see if that makes a difference. Do we have some admiral that also helps? Okay. They are just completely occupied. Isn't Kafia is done? Um, can we... I think I'm gonna feed this to uh, Egypt. I don't think I'm gonna make another ALET. Let's just annex it. Yeah. Done. Feed that. That's why we need to be at peace. I need to feed so much land. But we can uh, go... I wonder if I will be at peace when I vassalize Biapas because the Great Horde is at war with them. So we might not be able to start feeding. It's also a bit annoying. Did I get my trade thing? Meh. I don't think we can then. I don't think we can get enough trade income. Let's wait one more month. 
to make the merchants loyal, uh, give give them more influence. Well, that's annoying. We just used the 7.5 development here. Uh, we are gonna put in the development edict. And that's it, right? We can't do anything else. What did I remember? And we're gonna do three clicks here. That completes our mission. To get a 50 um, Constantinople. Uh, we will get the uh, trade capital increased by two. And we get some more uh, development uh, boost until the end of the game. We have a level 3 world port here now. So we have even more bonuses now for developing this province. We need to go to 75 at some point. Uh, let's just get all the buildings here. Because why not? Ooh, we, we want the mill over here as well. Well, yeah. We already have five goods produced. This is at one good produced. So it's only like one sixth extra. Because we already have so much development. Uh, let's just get all the, the buildings here. The courthouse doesn't matter here, I think. Because we don't have any state maintenance. We can, of course, still expand the infrastructure. I think I will. Governing capacity is almost at its limit. But I think when I do this, we get 15 uh, government governing capacity bo uh, malice. Just goes to plus 15. Oh, did they change it? It's province governing cost plus 10%. Did they change this? No, 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 it's there. It's local governing increase cost plus 15, almost at the bottom. We're going to get so much bonus. Let's see what happens. So the development will go down. Because we have expanded the infrastructure. And we can do this again. We can do this every 15 developments. So we can click this button three times and open up more building slots. The problem is you always get governing capacity problems. So, But I think I'm just going to make that... Uh, going to expand infrastructure here like four or five times just because we have to upgrade it. Okay, that was that war. Um, what did I want to do as well? Oh yeah, I want to piece out all of Austria-Hungary. We want to give stuff back to Croatia and Transylvania. And Moldavia. Which are my vassals. And that is going to be this. Why not this? Because we don't occupy it. Really? Well, that, then I will just peace out. Uh, Mushasha will go... And become a vassal, unfortunately. There's no other way to take the land, so we will just do this. They don't accept yet. Because they have an army over here. So we have to go to that army. And then in the meantime, I guess we can also siege this now. The purple state is at 15. We need 30 to make them into an ailet. I'm gonna feed the, the Papal State Sienna as well. Maybe some islands. To make a nice uh, Papal Aelet. <laughs> I don't even know how that works. <laughs> it sounds really weird. And of course, they took the capital back. And of course, the Great Horde is gonna go there. No way! Are you kidding me? I'm so annoyed. I'm gonna declare war. This is uh, ridiculous. Good relations? Really? Oh, they accept to become a, a, a vassal, so we don't have to take the capital, apparently. Okay. Just waiting for Mushasha to uh, go. Now, we do have a mission to own a province next to Vienna. I don't know where it is, but I know that we have to get it. And when I take all of this... We should also take this, so you're not, not no longer having any boats. And I think that we are going to take Sopron. The 
But you also need these two. We have more time because we need to kill Mushasha first. I don't know where their army went. They are gone. Okay, colonialism has started. Uh, we don't get it, of course, because... I should have waited a bit so I would get it, but that's too late now. It's developing. Okay, now we can take... These two. Then we can still take Sopron and cut everything in half over here. I think this is a fantastic idea. Coalition? I don't care. Done. So we need to feed some stuff to Croatia. And the next wars... We could maybe go to War of Poland. Give Crimea some more lands. I think we have to do something like that next. And then the Pope as well. And then something over here. How much overextension? Yeah. Can we please go and piece this out? Thank you very much. Mushasha doesn't want to piece out. To wait one more day. And then I think we'll be at war with the Great Horde. So let's send our troops over there. Well, I will feed... I will give Ragusa away, I think. But that's too late now, then. Uh, more courthouses are always a good building to build. So we lose some uh, governing capacity. At least all the armies have four cannons, so they can siege a bit quicker. Now, do you want peace out now? Come on. There we go. Bunny? You don't really care, but uh, let's make you a vassal. Run to Elid. We don't want to! Yeah, I know. Um, and then we will wait for my diplomats to arrive. Can I make Naples into an uh, Aelid already? In a reigning Aelid? No, not yet. 2, 1, 0. And then we are going to not vassalize you because they are occupied by the Great Horde. So there we go. That's the whole problem. So we have to go to war with the Great Horde. Insult them. Then we go to war. Oh, I need to revoke the guarantee. Wait, do we get a truce when we do this? <sighs> so frustrating. You cannot do this. We have to guarantee them. Oh, so everything goes down the drain. The only thing we can do is... Uh, I can't be at war. I have to let them live. There is nothing I can do. That's just the whole thing. We can only take a couple of provinces. What a waste. They don't accept. What? So frustrating. Oh, that sometimes goes. We are at peace, guys. Can you believe it? We are going to give some stuff to uh, us over here. Morocco, I'm gonna grant you 
Tenerife. And I'm gonna grant you Gran Canaria. There you go. Croatia. Gonna grant you Istria. Gonna grant you Zadar. Gonna grant you Split. I guess we'll give you Ragusa as well. Should just keep Ragusa. Let's keep Ragusa for myself. Uh, Hersek, where is Hersek? Is this all not cord? It is. Uh, his and Kafia will go to... No one? Let's score this one myself. Then we own all of Kurdistan, so... Uh, that's good. Kotor. Kotor, Ragusa, Sopron and Malta. Malta will go to Naples. No overextension. Oh, they have a core there. Oh, that's nice for them. Uh, Naples, uh, Grand Province, that one. There you go. And we will give the rest to Croatia. I guess we will give Ragusa then and Kotor. Because it's uh, one thing there. And then we have only Sopron. Uh, let's just give that to Croatia as well. Province, Sopron. There you go. We no longer have any overextension and we give all the land to our vessels. Now I think they are now small enough to... Yeah, but they are subject of Austria, so we first need to take Austria down. Okay, um, let's line up for a war with Poland and Lithuania. The truce with Castile is over in four years. I want to go to war with them. When that happens. And what is this country? You're just guaranteed by Persia. We really want to go to war with Persia, but... We can't call in Egypt. So how does that even work? I'm going to war for Egypt. Oh, Mushasha is having some cores as well here. We can feed Mushasha his cores back, so that is something we can do. We need to make Persia small enough. Uh, let's do the click. Start improving with my ALS that are not reined in yet. Georgia is already reined in, right? Yeah. Naples, are you finally... No. You can come back. Prove a view. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a couple of wars over here and to together with Poland. Do we have CBs on Poland or Lithuania? No. So Crimea is not having anything over here. Um... I can still diplo vassalize this country. Let's go for that. And now we have historical rival again. I think we had this the whole time. We we cannot. Uh, I think I just missed that pop-up there the whole time. It tells, me, it tells me that you can vassalize them, but we, you cannot get an alliance. It's so stupid. The attrition over here is insane. There's just no good province over here. What's my war exhaustion? Okay, it's very low. I will end the episode here, guys. And in the next episode, we will start the next uh, wars. 
I think at least with Persia, uh, with the Papal State, um, maybe with Venice, by the way, because we want to, to make Venice into an Aelid as well. They have, of course, too much development, so we need to feed some land maybe to Naples before we can do this. In four years, Castile. Austria Hungary is uh, stuck. Can't really expand over there. I guess we just need to start expanding into uh, the steppes over here. Together with uh, Arabia and uh, Persia. Well, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope you're still enjoying it. And hopefully see you there. Bye bye.